So this set started out as our 12 days of swimmiss. And what I really wanted us to focus on was, uh, you know, long interval, high speed kicking. And uh, I kind of had this idea that I, I don't want our kids to be so reliant on how fast they went once. I want them to be able to repeat and turn on a switch and be fast several times over and over and over again. So what we did was we had our 12 days of kick miss, where on the first day of kick miss, we did a single 25 four time on a minute. The second day of kick miss, we did two 25s four time on a minute. The third day we did three 25s on a minute. The fourth day we did four 25s on a minute. The fifth day we did five 25s. And I didn't want them to remember all of their times. All I wanted them to remember was their slowest time. And the only score that we recorded was their slowest 25 time. So let's say that Bud or Fly comes in and on the very first day he goes a 19. And on the second day, his slowest 25 is still a 19. So, I mean, that's really good. So either he was uh, faster than the day before or equaled it on every single one of the 25s. And that's pretty easy to do up until you get into that, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, where for 10 minutes, you're constantly pulling on that high speed. So maybe on day five, he went 19 a handful of times, but he wasn't able to uh, pull that 19 out on the last one. So unfortunately his score was a 20. And then maybe the next day he was really motivated, came back and got a 19. So it's colored to automatically color to show changes in the, the slowest time for that day. So you can see trends as a coach that you wouldn't normally be able to see. And then maybe Bud started to kind of, and it, as this set goes on for multiple days, it gets a little stale. Kids start to slow down quite a bit. And then maybe that last day you offer like a double point prize or something like that. And uh, you have kids that are really motivated to perform better than they ever did. Now what you can do is you can look at ranking kids by their fastest average, which is great. You know, we're, we're kind of recognizing performance and ability over process, or you can rank kids based on their consistency, so their range. What is the difference between their slowest day compared to their first day? And when you're packaging this for your kids, I would highly recommend don't tell them that there's going to be a day two through 12. Tell them that, hey, I want to see how fast you can go day one. That way they don't sandbag the first day and then by the end of it, they're going really, really slow uh, because they started out really slow. So this is a great way for you to get your kids to think about the the core drive eight of loss and avoidance. They want to go really, really fast on every one of them so they don't have a bad day because of one performance.